Law enforcement officials say the gunman behind this weekend's deadly mall shooting in Allen, Texas, had eight weapons on him at the time of the attack. All were legally obtained and he had no criminal history. Eight people were killed, including three members of one family. Omar Villafranca reports from Allen. Law enforcement officials in Texas revealed details of the investigation into Saturday's deadly mall shooting. The FBI is currently analyzing electronic devices and digital media connected to the suspect. Internet searches linked the gunman, 33-year-old Mauricio Garcia, to far-right and white supremacist ideology. We do know that he had neo-Nazi ideation. He had patches, he had tattoos. Authorities say the shooter worked for three security companies between 2016 and 2020, where he received firearms training and passed a background check. The big question that we're dealing with right now is what's his motive? Why did he do this? Well, the big question is we don't know. At the mall, the memorial for the shooting victims is growing. Among those killed, three members of the Cho family, mom Cindy, dad Q, and their three-year-old son, James. Their six-year-old son, William, was wounded. Also killed, fourth grader Daniela Mendoza and her younger sister, Sophia. It just devastated. It's, it hits really, really close to home. This mom says the sisters attended the same gymnastics school as her daughter. Everyone gets along and we love each other, so um, just getting that email was really sad. The community is wearing yellow in their memory. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Allen, Texas. A 20-year-old security guard, a 26-year-old engineer, and a 32-year-old man were also killed in the attack. Six others remain hospitalized.